So I began a lot of questions um, since my latest video about the fake hand I've been using. Well, this is it. It's called a nail trainer. This is something I paid and bought for myself. Um, I'm not, you know, no one's asked me to do a review or anything on this. I just want to show you guys what it is, because, like I said, I've gotten a lot of questions over. But um, yeah. So it's called a nail trainer. It's supposed to be um, as close as possible to the human hand. And when you open up the package, it looks like this inside. Um, this is a kit. I mean, you can buy the hand on its own, but I went with a kit because it came with extra stuff, and I will get to that here in a minute with you. But this is everything that came with this kit. Alright, so inside the box is the hand. And on, the, on this hand, it has a clamp that you screw onto your table, and it'll secure the hand in place for you. And then, then this is all adjustable, so you can bend it into whatever position you want. Um, so that's the hand. Now you get an, an assortment of different fingernails. I will get to those in a minute, explain them better to you. But you get a different assortment for each fingertip. This kit also came with fake nails. Um, also, let's see, hold on. In here we have a gel prep and residue remover. Also have a primer for acrylic practice and a nail trainer tip adhesive and that's everything that came with that um, then also I got an extra thing of nail tips and I did actually get an extra box of these too you get a DVD explaining how it works and whatnot you get a little booklet telling you about the different things, you know, what you can do with it, what it's for. And lastly, I got um, a Techniques uh, process card, you know, where you can keep track of your work and, you know, show it off or whatever you want to do with it. So that's everything that came in the kit. Um, now I'm going to explain things a little bit better about how it all works. Okay, so here's the hand. I have it clamped down to my table right now, but as you can see it moves at the wrist and then here at the fingers and as you can see they move very easily just like a real hand would. You know, they, they move very smooth. Now the difference between this and other hands is um, you can't just stick on any L nail whatever you want, you know. You have to specifically buy nails for this. Thankfully, with the kit I bought, it came with nails. Um, so this is the the packaging. Obviously, there'd be more in it than this. I just I separated mine out. That way, I know which is which. But um, you get an assortment of uh, was it one five different sets of nails, and you get twenty of each different. Um, basically, you'd get the nail, which would look like this. You get your hand. This is what it looks like without the nail in it. It's got this that you stick into the back. And you press it in there. And you press down once. And you press down again and your nail is locked in place and ready to go. Um, when you want to take it off you pull on it and it comes right off. So again you snap it down in place. Now the different nails, okay so you got a square nail for your thumb. 
you get the straight nail, which is ideal for um, airbrushing and nail art. You get a damaged nail. This is called a maintenance nail. This is um, designed for you to learn how to properly nail or if not nail, file a nail bed and to fix any imperfections like you can see here there's a chip missing out of it um, you have the option of trying to repair it or you know reshaping the nail and this one is as close to natural nail as possible it doesn't require much filing but again it's another nail to practice filing on and then you got you know your little nail which is like the most difficult of nails to work on so this is just to give you practice on you know proper filing and you know practicing basically so what are the different nails okay so the thumbnail it's the number nine and the book says it is a white it is the widest nail uh, it is fitted to the thumb and is quite an easy nail to work on okay so then the next nail is the number six nail and the book says about this that the number six nail is slightly harder the long free edge makes it ideal for practicing airbrush and nail art the next one is the maintenance nail maintenance nail which is number 18 this nail has a regrowth area which is right here sorry it's not showing up very well on my camera um, regrow area in the cuticle and a chip on the free edge you can practice filing and the regrowth area repositioning the crown thinning and reshaping the free edge or re repairing the chip only work on this nail when you have practiced on the easier shapes so yeah maintenance nail says everything about it um, this one is number 13 nail uh, which is the easiest it does not need much filing and is nice and symmetrical start on this nail fit it to the ring finger click down two or three clicks and then you got the small nail which is number eight nail and it can be embedded in a deep nail bed to mimic a chronic nail biter's finger um, this is a tricky nail to work on as file access is difficult so this hand does basically more than just um, nail art and whatnot it actually teaches you how to maintain file you know all that fun stuff with your real nails so I'm just going to do a quick demonstration um, on the maintenance nail it needs to be filed so you get your nail filed and File away to get the imperfection out of it. Smooth it out. This will teach you, you know, how long and how much pressure you should, you know, you can apply to make the nail bed look better. I'll show you when I'm done. I have this all filed down, it's all smooth and all the perfection out of the nail bed is gone. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off the chipped area, if I can. Hmm. There we go. Okay. And I get my nail file and I'm going to file it to shape I like my nails to square and just keep filing it until you know you get it to the shape that you want it then after you got it all filed and to shape, this is what you'll have. You know, it's a little different from the the other nail that it comes with it, but 
Yeah, this is my um, fixing the maintenance nail, and now it's ready to to do whatever you want, whether it be acrylic, gel, nail art, airbrushing, fiberglass, whatever. So yeah. The downsides to this, I would have to say, is um, you can't put each nail on every finger because they only come in one size. They don't come in multiple sizes for different fingers. So like this size, this is the only size of this that they make and so on and so forth. So before, yeah, that's probably the only bad thing I have to say about it. I mean, you can put each nail on each finger. It's just it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't look like a natural hand. But for me, it's not really an issue. For others, it could be. But then again, this is a practicing hand, so um, I do actually really like this. I'm glad I went ahead and bought one. I've been wanting one for a while now. Um, now, as price-wise goes. Yeah, they're not exactly the cheapest, you know. It's not something you could go to your local Sally's Beauty Supply Store and pick up something for like twelve dollars, you know. Um, I say um a lot, sorry. <laughs> Price-wise, there's many sites that sell these. Um, each site has their own name for them. I did buy this from Nail Trainer. It was the cheapest that I found kit wise. Well, okay, you can get cheaper kits, but for what I wanted, it was a good price. Um, I spent 182, I believe it was, on the kit. That's not including shipping and packaging and taxes and all that good stuff. Other places are a lot higher in price, but um, this was the cheapest that I could find. So if you have the money, I say go for it. buy one of these if you can. It's a good investment and it will it will better your skill. Maybe not so much with the nail art, but you know, if, if you plan on going to tech school or being a nail technician is your goal, this is worth the investment. You know, we don't always have the luxury of having live models to work on. This is your next best thing. So, yeah, there you go. This is my thoughts and review on it. And, you know, I just wanted to show you what what it was and what it did. And I hope it was helpful. And thank you for watching. Bye.